Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to shine your boots. Uh, it's really important that they have a mirror shine. Um, so you can see these boots right here are scuffed up. Uh, the shine's still pretty good, but I'm going to show you just what you want to do. Um, it's about two or three layers a day you guys need to put on there. So um, first of all, I use this brush. Uh, you can buy it at Ralph's, and it's probably about five bucks, or you can use... Uh, the little cloth that you can buy along with shoe shining polish. So I'm just going to brush off any dirt or debris that's on here. Um, so you can already see that it's a little less shiny now. It's kind of a haziness to it. Okay, so once you've got, um, once you're ready to start shining, uh, get all the, you want to get all the, uh, nicks and smudges and scratches off before you start polishing. Uh, and I recommend using something under like newspaper or cardboard because uh, you don't want to get this polish on any furniture. Okay so what I'm gonna do is normally I would um, use a spray bottle uh, but I don't have one at my hand right now so what you're gonna do is drip a little bit of water onto the shoe polish take a cotton swab like that and you're going to rub this around in there until it starts to uh, move easily you'll feel it. It'll start to move real easily. That means that you've got a good mixture of wax or polish and water. So here you are. Uh, there's your polish and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the toe just going in circles. I'm going to get a good coat on there. It's going to be nice and foggy and you're basically just going to keep doing this until that fogginess is gone. You're going to rub it all the way in. might take about five or so minutes. So here we are. Keep polishing. It's getting a little clearer. You're going to keep going. Keep polishing. It's coming along. Keep polishing. Okay, so now uh, you can see I've got a pretty good polish on there, and I'm going to show you the trick with the lighter. Uh, I have mixed success with using a lighter. Um, sometimes it turns out really well, sometimes it uh, just puts me right back at step one. But um, anyways, I'm going to try and show you a good example. So. Um, So you have your lighter, you're going to hold the flame right up to the boot. You're going to watch the wax melt, the polish it will melt. And you'll get a real nice shine for a couple seconds and then it's going to fog over again. Um, and basically you're just, once it fogs over, um, you're just going to take your cotton swab again and just rub it out until the cloudiness is gone and you should get a pretty good mirror coat. So there's the fog, it's coming back. So you take your cotton swab again and basically just actually grab a dry one. little bit wet and you're just gonna buff this out and just wax on wax off and you can see that it's already I lucked out this time and got a nice shine on there so just gonna shine this with a regular dry cloth or a cotton ball until the fogginess is gone, 
then you should have a nice mirroring coat on there. Fogging it up will help you get that mirror finish, which is crucial. See that? It's pretty decent. A couple more coats like that per boot, and you should have a well enough shined boot for the Academy. This is every day. And then, basically, uh, your boot is not shiny enough until you can see the reflection of your face pretty clearly when the boot is on your foot looking down. So if you're six feet tall like I am, um, you need to be able to see pretty clearly a reflection of your face from six feet up. Um, that's basically the criteria for which they judge the chief is going to walk by. You're going to be standing there for inspection and if he can't see the reflection of his face in your boot, just the toe right there, uh, your boots are not shiny enough. So keep putting those layers on and keep taking them off and you'll get there. Good luck.